Welcome to this video on how to create a windowed program using Java. My name's Andy Wicks and in this program I'm going to show you how to create the simplest interface you can. It doesn't actually do anything, nothing useful anyway. Let me show you. Here is a window that has been opened up using a very simple Java program. And what we're going to do is create a template that can be used in all your other windowed programs. Now that doesn't mean it just works under Windows. It'll also work with Linux and most other operating systems. That's how Java works. Let's start at the beginning. The first thing you need is to import all the bits required to create a window. The Java AWT the Java AWT event and the Javax swing all need to be imported. Next, we do as we always do when we create a program. We create a public class and give it a program name. In this case, the name of the program is my JF because what makes a window in Java is a J frame. And what our program will do is extend what the standard JFrame does. So it extends JFrame. Now this JFrame that we create also needs to be able to react when the user does something. So it needs to implement a class called ActionListener. An ActionListener is the thing that checks whether the user has clicked a button or moved something. We need to have that there. We then, because it's a program, need public, static, void, main and the string args. And then the only command here at the moment in main is the constructor for the window. The constructor, which always has the same name as the program, is going to create a variable called fr, short for frame, and it's going to be a new my JFrame. Now let's have a look at the constructor. That's public my JF with the brackets. In this case we don't need any arguments to create the constructor. What we need are some commands. We're first of all going to set the layout so that it works in a particular way. It works from left to right and then from top to bottom. So when we add buttons and text boxes and that, it'll do that in the same order as we would if we were writing something. Next, we're going to set the size of the window. In this case, the size is 400 pixels by 300 pixels. And whilst that looks to be the true figure, in practice there's always a surround. So there's 8 pixels either side taken off for the edges. And then for the top there's a 35 pixel bit that's taken away for the menu bar. This is the title bar. So this is what will appear at the top. Now when the user does something we want it to be able to When the user wants to close the program, we need to be able to let them do that. And this is what will happen when the user clicks on the little cross, the red cross, in the top right hand corner of an application. Now here it says exit on close. And you might think, well of course if I press the red X, it's obviously going to mean I want to close the program. Well, not in all situations. In some situations, you may well want to do something like close this window, but keep the application running that's sitting behind it. And finally, we're going to set the frame to be visible. Visible needs to be set because you may have half a dozen frames. Frame is what Java calls a window. You may have half a dozen frames, only one of which is visible at the moment, and you want to be able to swap between which frame the user can see. Java doesn't want to tell you which ones you will have, so it asks you to say which one. 
Now if you have a frame, so here a J frame, that implements action listener, you must have a method called action performed. And that will take an action event and create a variable called E. An action event is when the user clicks on something, moves something, when something happens. And it's going to call this event E. You can then write code in the middle of the action performed to say what will happen when the user does a certain thing. And in that way you can ensure that your code works properly. You're going to get a window that appears up here. It doesn't have anything in at the moment. That's for later programs. But it does work. And when the user clicks the red X, the program finishes.